let us learn real numbers real numbers are very important in arithmetic as well as in all the branch of mathematics let me start first with natural numbers as you know counting numbers are called natural numbers and it is denoted by capital n for example n is the set of numbers which start from 1 and goes to infinity this is the sign of infinity and this is very important to you to know that the smallest natural number is 1 and there is no largest natural number second whole numbers the set of numbers which includes natural numbers this means the numbers which start from 1 and goes to infinity and 0 is called the set of whole numbers it is denoted by capital W for example W is the set of numbers which start from 0 and goes to infinity also it is very important to you to know that the smallest whole number is 0 and there is no largest whole number let us try to understand integers the numbers which includes natural numbers their negatives and zero is called the set of integers it is denoted by capital z or capital i for example i is the set of numbers which is between minus infinity to positive infinity because this means we cannot find out the smallest or the largest integer now let us come to the rational numbers Rational numbers are those numbers which includes natural numbers, whole numbers and integers. It is called the set of rational numbers and it is denoted by capital Q. For definition, let me as far as the definition of rational number is concerned, it is very easy that Q is the set of all the numbers which are in the form of p by q where q is not equals to 0 and p and q are integers and there is another important property here that p and q are co-prime numbers I have told you about co prime numbers in another video. You are requested to learn them. For example, minus 3 by 4 is a rational number, 3 by 4 is also a rational number, 3 by minus 4 is also a rational number and minus 3 by minus 4 is also a rational number but 3 by 0 or like the numbers like this are not rational numbers because no number can be divided by 0 so this number does not exist let us move to the irrational number this is very important part of real numbers the set of numbers which cannot be expressed in p by q form this means we cannot write a rational number in the form of like 3 by 4 or many more or cannot be transformed into the rational number this means the numbers which cannot be transformed into the rational numbers are called the set of irrational numbers and it is denoted by capital t for example you know about certs like this root 2 root 3 and the decimal expansion which is not repeating and terminating like this suppose that we have 7.101001000 and like numbers like this not repeating nor terminating This type of numbers are called irrational numbers. Now we are ready to understand real numbers. Real number is the set of numbers which includes both rational and irrational numbers. This means real number is the set of, we denote it by capital R. Real number is the set of all rational number which is denoted by capital Q 
and the set of irrational number which is denoted by capital T. Uh, we can also understand the real number in this way. Suppose this is the set of natural number which is included by whole numbers and whole numbers are included by integers and integers are included by rational numbers and we have another type of number these are the irrational number and it is denoted by capital T and these are certs and indices and numbers like this if we put them in a single set of numbers then this set of number is called the set of real numbers This is all about the real numbers.